Hey guys, um, I just wanted to hop on and kind of talk you guys through handwriting when it comes to numbers. Um, some of the numbers that we write are kind of tricky, so we've come up with little rhymes for them. And um, in case you were curious as to what rhymes we do in class that might help your student um, write numbers at home, I'm going to just show you what we do. Also, if you ever need some handwriting paper to practice these numbers, um, please let me know because I have an abundance of it and would love to send some home with you guys um, if you do want that extra practice at home. So um, I'm just going to walk you through the rhymes really quick um, and you use them as you want to. Your kids should know them. We go over them, most of them pretty often in class. Um, the first one is for zero and it says around and around and around we go. When we get home, we have a zero. So... Um, we just start about right here, say around and around and around we go. When we get home, we have a zero. Um, for the number one, we just say straight line down. We always start at the top blue line. Straight line down and then you're done. That's the way to make a one. Super straight and simple, easy. Um, for two, we say we start about right here. And we say around and back on the railroad track. And they do their little toot toot because um, we're writing the number two. So they like to sound like trains. So that's our number two. My pencil's kind of shaky, but you guys get the, get the gist of it. Three is a really hard one. We want to make sure with the three that when they're doing the first circle or the first semicircle and coming down to the next one, they're stopping on that dotted line. So um, for three, we say around a tree around a tree that's the way to make a three um, and we just like I said we really emphasize that the middle of that three needs to rest on that dotted line in the middle um, for four it's two parts so we um, start we say oh my pen's not working down and over down once more that's the way to make a four again we're making sure that um, that across line right there um, hits on that dotted line is where we want it to hit. We don't want it coming way down or being really short in the sky. We want it to hit on that dotted line. Um, for five, they absolutely love this rhyme. Um, we start at the blue line at the top right here, and we say short neck, belly fat, Mr. Five wears a hat. And because it talks about their belly being fat, they absolutely love it. Um, so that's our little rhyme for number five. Um, it's two parts. You do down, around, and then you go back up and do the hat for the five. Um, sorry, guys. For six, um, we say down to a hoop. Six ends with a loop. Um, again, that loop needs to be in the base or in the downstairs, right under that dotted line. Um, seven is pretty easy. the The problem we have with sevens a lot is they're backwards, so we always start from the left and drag right. It might be backwards on your screen, but we start from the left and drag right. So it says across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. We also want that seven to be slanted. We don't want straight across and straight down. We want that seven line to be slanted coming down. Um, eights are probably the hardest of them all, if I'm honest. Um, I have a lot of friends who want to make eights like a double bubble eight. And that is not how we make eights. Um, so I'm training them to go back and do them the right way. So with an eight, we just use what we already know with how to make an S. So we say make an S, then don't stop, go back up, make an eight at the top. We want to make that figure eight. We're not doing double bubble eights. We want to make that figure eight, and we want it to try and be as straight up and down as possible, not sideways. So that's a hard one that's going to take a lot of practice, but um, that is how we are grading them on writing eights. Um, double bubble eights aren't cutting it because that's not what our curriculum calls for. Um, and then finally, number nine, um, little circle up top, little circle, then a line. That's the way to make a nine. Um, Again, we're making sure that circle is small and is upstairs. We don't want it coming down. We don't want it too big. And then just that straight line. Um, and that's all of our numbers, guys, because all those numbers are used to make the teens, 20s, 30s, all the rest of our numbers. So um, hopefully those rhymes help you out if you're struggling with handwriting with your kid. And um, they should know them. They might need some reminders. So um, I'll also try to um, include... A document somewhere with these rhymes written out so you can use it for them. But um, that's all I have to say about numbers and we'll see you later.